What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. So today what I want to talk about is the Rise of Iron Bundle and why I'm actually thinking that, man I don't know if this is like the best future form or like the best paradox form or if it's just like top three. I will, I'll tell you one thing, it's definitely top three, uh, but I want to talk about why Iron Bundle is used so much, why it's so good and what sort of archetypes it fits onto. So if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's my comment question of the day, which is what do you think about Iron Bundle and uh, are you using one on your team? But yeah, let me also add a couple more Pokemon that I want to talk about the uh, Iron Bundle matchup with, which is going to be one, Pelipper, two, Palafin, and three, Gastrodon. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about Iron Bundle. So what does Iron Bundle do? This thing is a water and ice type, uh, which is phenomenal coverage offensively. Uh, it's timid. Uh, or if it runs timid, it's like the fastest Pokemon in the game after a booster energy, allowing it to uh, outrun even like timid booster energy Fluttermane. Uh, and comboing that with like Icy Wind makes it faster than Regieleki speed control. And more reliable too, because Icy Wind doesn't have any immunities to it. So yeah, that's the main thing. However, 136 speed combined with 124 special attack makes this thing a very terrifying glass cannon. And glass cannon is sort of putting it lightly. It's less of a glass cannon and more like a, a plastic cannon, you know? It's a little bit more dull, durable than some glass because it actually has really decent physical defense and uh, it's it's actually fairly hard to knock it out with one hit even with like super effective fighting moves, barring your name as like Iron Hands. So yeah, uh, and just, this guy's like really frustrating and here's the deal. The reason it's so frustrating is because freeze dry plus hydro pump coverage is extremely uh, versatile. You hit basically everything in the metagame for at least neutral, and uh, beyond that, I think another thing that makes this guy a little bit frustrating is when you're using him and when you're playing against him, a lot of the times it'll come down to Hydro Pump accuracy, which Terra Water Hydro Pump from this guy does insane amounts of damage. Let's actually just open up this damage calc. Let's go with something neutral uh, that would, let's go with something that would take like neutral damage from a water move. Let's go with um, Flutter Main because that seems to be the most appropriate set, right? If it goes for Terrastal Water Hydro Pump, it's doing 72 to 86% on this Flutter Main. So if that Flutter Main took like Icy Wind damage before, it should, it's basically just going down to Terra Water um, Hydro Pump, which keep in mind, Flutter Main is a Pokemon that, while it doesn't run a lot of HP, it has base 135 special defense. So that's like a huge milestone as far as like getting KOs is. But yeah. Iron Bundle is very good at its job as a physical, or not physical, as a special attacker, but beyond that, booster energy just makes it an even more frustrating Pokemon. And I think open team sheets uh, is something that this Pokemon doesn't enjoy, almost exclusively because it makes it more difficult to use with like any amount of surprise factor, you know, because that toss up between uh, booster energy or focus sash is like really annoying on ladder. However, if open team sheets is around, it makes it a lot easier to play around this Pokemon. So what is this Pokemon doing as far as the metagame is concerned? Well, it recently won the Beanie Brawl, which had how many people playing it? It was a really good amount, 171 uh, people playing it. And it also got second place at the Nino Scarlet and Violet friendly fight number 63, which also had a notable amount of people being 200 or no, more than 200, like way more actually. <laughs> 460 almost 500 players this thing got second place and you see like just the trend is teams with um teams with iron bundle tend to do quite well i keep wanting to call it iron sack but that's like not its name so yeah iron bundle is a phenomenal pokemon in the format for a few reasons and it has to do with the matchups that it has and how many teams it can fit onto so as far as teams that it fits onto we see that it always likes being next to Don Dozo, and even though you're doubling down on that water typing, most of the time for Don Dozo, because it's going to be your Terra target, it doesn't matter that much. And what Fluttermane, not Fluttermane, what Iron Bundle kind of specializes in is removing checks to Don Dozo, those grass types, uh, like Amoongus, uh, Gastrodon's also somewhat of a check to Don Dozo if it's running Storm Dream plus Clear Smog, Pokemon that just can naturally outspeed Don Dozo, like, what's it called, Meowscarada with Flower Trick that'll crit through you. This Iron Bundle is perfectly capable of one-shotting like basically all of those Pokemon with either Freeze Dry or Hydro Pump. And being able to have Freeze Dry is like just a really annoying tool because even Pokemon that should hypothetically resist Iron Bundle's stabs aren't able to do that. Like Tatsugiri, for example. Tatsugiri should be able to 
times four resist water moves and take neutral damage from ice moves because it's a water dragon type. It should be able to eat a hit from iron bundle and then one shot it back with Draco Meteor, but that's just not the case unless it's running a focus sash or a choice scarf. And even then choice scarf isn't able to beat iron bundle with, what's it called? With uh, either sash or the uh, booster energy. So because it just gets one shot by freeze drive. Freeze drive, of course, being a move that hits water types for super effective damage, thus meaning that Tatsugiri takes times four damage. And also, notably, Gastrodon takes times four damage. So yeah, I wanna talk about Gastrodon in a few minutes as well. Uh, when we get around to what Gastrodon does versus this Pokemon, that's something that we definitely need to cover. But yeah, the main interaction I would say that brings uh, value to Iron Bundle on teams isn't just like the high damage output, but of course that speed control. Like I mentioned, Iron Bundle is able to outspeed Pokemon like Fluttermane, meaning that Timid Fluttermane with a Focus Sash, while it would usually be like a really reliable Pokemon into a lot of leads, many Pokemon will be able to outspeed Fluttermane as soon as it gets to minus one. So if you lead off with Iron Bundle plus, let's say hypothetically a Meowskarada, now you're going to be able to go for Icy Wind into Flower Trick and always KO the Fluttermane, basically removing it from play. Now there are Pokemon that actually deal with Iron Bundle quite well on lead, one of those being Iron Hands. But one thing we have to keep in mind is that while Iron Hands is hypothetically just a hard check to Iron Bundle in the uh, Assault Vest set, it isn't always going to be able to deal with it because many times uh, when you're using Iron Hands, you're going to want to go for the Terra Grass. Terra Grass, of course, being one of the best defensive typings for Iron Hands because it allows it to deal with Pokemon like Amoongus more reliably because you're not going to be able to be spored or being redirected. So if we actually pop that into like the damage calc, Iron Bundle versus an Assault Vest Iron Hands, if we just like take a, a random set uh, here, Terra Grass Assault Vest, if they're actually going for the Terra Grass, now you're freeze dry rather than doing, you know, that doo-doo damage before at 23%, we'll be able to do 46%. And yeah, this guy can one shot you back, but it makes it much easier to chip it into range because it doesn't have good special defense to start with. It basically relies on that assault vest. So yeah, other Pokemon that this guy just like deals with, you know, Don Dozo, Breeze Dry is like a menace to this thing. Arcanine, they're actually running Terra Water right now to deal with it because um, usually they would run like Terra Grass to deal with Iron Bundle, right? But the thing is it has access to Freeze Dry. So I don't know, it's, it's weird. So uh, Terra Water, is useful for a couple of reasons beyond the iron bundle because your defensive typing for water would be weak to ice regardless you know what i mean so the reason we run terra water is basically just because like turn one what you can do is go for like a snarl into the iron bundle on the hydro pump terra grass or terra water to live the hit and then on the next turn you're going to be able to survive the hit and go for a second snarl because you'll actually also survive the, the freeze dry so that's like super cool Basically, what I'm trying to get across is Iron Bundle has extremely good offensive potential. It covers for a lot of matchups and it supports the team in many ways. So the reason it fits so well on Dondozo is it deals with the Dondozo checks and allows Dondozo to basically sweep through the team. Other archetypes that we find it on, a lot of teams will use it sort of to patch up a rain matchup, I think. like That's that's just like my hypothesis. You'll notice that this team, while it does have an Amoongus, the rain matchup isn't phenomenal. Palafin would usually be able to like sweep through this team. However, Palafin... Uh, despite running fighting coverage and water uh, stab uh, is actually going to have a lot of issues with iron bundle because iron bundle is a menace let's go ahead and just pop that into the damage calculator real quick palafin one of the best pokemon in rain let's say it's running like a choice banded set it's terra water jet punch in hero form we'll be doing quite a bit of damage 48 percent with a choice band versus iron bundle However, Iron Bundle's freeze dry is gonna be doing 75 to 88%, meaning that you always win that exchange unless they go for close combat, which even then won't always one-shot Iron Bundle. Is that correct? That's crazy The choice band close combat isn't one-shotting. Is this thing stats correct? Hold on, 160. That's so crazy. That's so crazy that that like only, that, that, that that's a guarantee to a KO. What is this Pokemon do? Oh, it's Terra Water. Never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is it living there? No, okay, close combat, like totally one shots. But yeah, you'll notice that if they uh, have to go for like a, a jet punch to outspeed you and try to go for a KO, you know, because there were a lot of situations I had in a tournament where I had like plus one on this guy and I Terra Watered to try to KO it. It would only do 71% maximum. So Freeze Dry is a two shot versus you. If they've taken any chip damage, Iron Bundle reliably picks up that KO. And if you're running like the rare Life Orb set, usually they're like Sash or Booster Energy, keep that in mind. But if they're running like the rare Life Orb set, they're picking up even more KOs of that thing. So yeah, uh, it's good for patching up rain matchups in that sense because it's going to be able to KO not only 
what's it called? Not only the Palafin that you see on the opposing team, but also Pelipper. Pelipper being times four weak to this Pokemon, despite defensively, defensively, you know, it should be able to take the hit from it because it's a water type. But no, that water flying type means it's going to get one shot by Freeze Dry. And since a lot of Pelipper want to run like safety goggles over Focus Sash in this metagame, uh, they end up getting one shot, you know, because there's no Focus Sash to save them. So rain matchups become a lot more difficult for this Pokemon. As far as actual hard checks to this guy, it's, it's kind of hard to come by. It's mainly just fast special attackers. You'll find that Golden Go has a pretty decent matchup versus it because uh, it's actually like decently special defensive, right? So Golden Go, let's go with like a uh, like a Life Orb set, right? Hydro Pump, Terra Water. While that will one-shot a lot of Golden Go, if they're going to outspeed you with like Tailwind or whatever, which a lot of Golden Go have, you usually will just drop to like a Make It Rain. Yeah, 125% if you're not Terra Water, but obviously defensively you're going to be able to Terra Water. Uh, I actually find that like while while Iron Bundle will Terra Water to get KOs with Hydro Pump, it's actually usually more of a defensive tool just to get rid of that Ice Weakness, you know? while still being able to maintain um, high damage output with that Hydro Pump. You know, even though you like still keep the stab if you don't Terra Water, you want to like double down on it. I think that it's actually like one of the better defensive types for it. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Other Pokemon that actually beat Iron Bundle, funny enough, if you use a Gastrodon, which I actually expect Gastrodon to pick up in usage further down the road, um, Gastrodon with Terra Fire is a hard Iron Bundle wall because not only is this thing like super specially defensive with 111 HP and 82 special defense. Like it eats every special hit, but it's going to be able to recover on those Pokemon. Uh, what am I typing recover in for? Like leftovers, recover, like that's an option. And your earth power should usually two shot. Let me plug that in the calc real quick. So let's just take like a random Gastrodon, right? Yeah, Terrifier leftovers. Rastalize. Your earth power is a two shot because of this thing's low special defense. Freeze is doing 22%. You're immune to Hydro Pump even though you're a fire type because you have that storm drain. So like that's one of the few hard checks this Pokemon. And if you have a Pokemon that can eat ice moves next to it, then you're like fine. Like a steel type plus Gastrodon will never lose to Iron Bundle. You sort of see what I mean? Like there's a lot of ways that Iron Bundle can sneak its way into a match and just position in such a way that it can sweep through a team. That's really scary. I would actually like, even when I was running like King Gambit, King Gambit with like an assault vest still takes a decent amount from Iron Bundle. Because I would, and the thing is like Sucker Punch doesn't KO it. This thing has like such a low HP set that you expect Sucker Punch to KO it, but it's deceptively bulky. Yeah, like I was, do, like I remember I was Terra Dark actually, and my, um, why is this terrifying? Dark. There we go. My, like my Terra Dark Sucker Punch wasn't KOing and it was really concerning because I would have to take like Terra Water Hydro Pumps and I would get two shot. So yeah. That was really annoying. Um, other things that Iron Bundle can do for a team is basically just be a general Tailwind Sweeper. Yes, it doesn't need the Tailwind to operate, but being able to hit everything so reliably and outspeed a lot of things means that if it does have a Tailwind, it's going to outspeed like Chlorophyll Pokemon. It's going to outspeed like Swift Swim Pokemon. It's in that range where it just becomes ridiculous, you know? Also, it has a really decent Garganical matchup. Keep in mind that Garganical is one of the best Pokemon in the format right now, and while it is going to usually go for like Terra Poison to live a hit, if it's not Terrastalize, your Hydro Pump, even without the Terra, is like a roll to one shot. So if it does decide to go for that Terra, your Terra Water Hydro Pump is a two shot, meaning that if you like call some Protects correctly, oh wait, that's Life Orb, hold on. Yeah, still still possible two shot. If you call like some protects correctly, Iron Bundle can run through a team. And I think that's what, like where a lot of the value comes from. Iron Bundle is the sort of Pokemon where your opponent has to play so defensively that they you need to like basically always get your protects right. Where if the Iron Bundle gets one call on the protect correctly, it'll take a piece away from you, allowing for other end game uh, situations. Like I said, the Don Doza was one of them, but I think I've seen some like Parish Song plus Iron Bundle teams where the Iron Bundle comes in, takes a KO early, and then like they Parish Song to wrap up the game with a few other Pokemon. But yeah, I don't know. I just want to give my thoughts and explain like why Iron Bundle is such a top tier Pokemon right now, why it's top kind of events, exactly the value it brings to a team, and how you can beat it. I mean, obviously, like I said, Terra Water, Arcanine, if they don't go for two freeze dries in a row, which they usually won't because it's too risky, like that's an option. Scarf Pokemon, as long as they're, as long as you're not facing like, um, what is it called? As long as you're not facing the Booster Energy set, we'll be able to outspeed and KO Iron Bundle. Obviously, like Scarf Golden goes an option for you, and Terra Fire Gastron is just like a hard check. And also, if you're running Covert Cloak, it beats Garganical. Keep that in mind. So that's like a really fun thing.
So yeah, that's gonna be today's video. I just wanted to talk about this Pokemon for a few minutes, give my thoughts. Um, and I, I know this is like a little bit of a less organized video, just sort of like spewing information about robotic penguins at you. Uh, but I want to write a few scripted videos and I want to release those probably the weekend of Orlando. I think I'm going to like write the script this weekend and then the video should drop next weekend. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys want me to talk about in that video. It should be like a, a topical video, not like just VGC 2023, but I don't know, just anything VGC related. I'm looking to get back into those um, like heavily edited scripted videos. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about Iron Bundle as well as anything you want to want me to cover in the future. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.